I, Edward Cullen, take you, Bella Swan. For better or for worse. To love. To cherish. As long as we both shall live. The, the wedding dress was far too beautiful to drag around a forest floor. I know. Honestly, it was seriously black on the bottom. The first one to mention that. That's an inter interesting thing to notice. <laughs> well, it just looked too, too in love. What, what, what details did you, did you like about it? Because I heard that you had some influence in the design of it. Um, I loved it. Uh, luckily, I, I, uh, I, never, I never put it on and went, uh-oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it, it always felt like it was very close to being perfect. And um, also, it was like such a committee sort of uh, decision by committee thing. It was like, I knew that, I knew that if I had something like re really big to say I could say it, but when it came down to it, everyone, as long as Stephanie was happy, happy pretty much, it was sort of like, we're all good. And Taylor Lautner, seems like a very well-disciplined young man. It seems like you'd have to bring your A-game when you're doing some work with him. Was that same right? Uh, totally. Taylor's like one of the most professional, disciplined people ever, but he's also really fun to mm -hmm. work with. He's, they keep some very light sort of atmosphere on set and you go back and forth. I love Twilight fans. I think they're amazing. Like, mm -hmm. truly dedicated. Have you ever been presented with a child going, it's ass Oh, yeah. I mean, that's the most amazing thing when, when I meet a kid that's like, are you Esme? And I, I you know, I'm so flattered and I, I say, yeah, I, I am. <laughs> <laughs> See, what happens to me, because I look so different, I had this little girl come up to me and people were saying, that's Carlisle, that's Carlisle. And she came over and she said, are you Carlisle from the Twilight Saga? And I said, yeah. She goes, but you don't look as clean as he does. <laughs> I was like, really? <laughs> Thanks a lot. How do you have people go, oh, we, we named her after you? Have you had that happen yet? I actually have had that happen. After Boo Boo or Seth? Seth. After <laughs> Seth. Uh, oh, this one Twilight fan named their uh, son Seth. And uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> after they read the books, they were like, oh, Seth. <laughs> Have you met the other set? Um, no, I have, I've met them all. There you go. <laughs> I heard that, that Bella was the most popular baby name in like the serious? states of, like last year. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised. But when you were there for the big the big wedding scene, it was it a bit like summer camp when like everyone gets off the bus? Oh, it's good to see you again. Was it was like more a, like winter Rigney camp. <laughs> winter yeah. Rigney awful camp. Yeah, there was uh, nah, we we can't film when it's sunny, so uh, you know we have to wait for the crowds uh, the clouds and the rain, and you know it's uh, definitely nothing summery about it. No, not at all. No. But it's was fun it to be there with a group of your friends, though. I mean, we were all yeah. having a good old time together. How much of the, uh, the the birth scene was you, and how much of it was, um, a, you know, a, uh, a prosthetic sitting there? Right. Um, I think I, I really wanted to do most of it. I was really upset whenever I saw that old doll be carted into set, onto set. Is um, it weird seeing a doll of yourself? Yeah, it is really weird. I don't like it. <laughs> it's sort of like, hey, watch it. Like a little bit too similar to me. <laughs>